Okay, welcome to the first inaugural episode of the Experimental Gardener. We're going to go through this journal. It's uh, January 1st, 2014. We're going to go through the process of building up this new garden. Um, well, it's not actually new, but we're going to be building it up so it will be newer. We've got what was there last year, basically just this. Well, no, that's not true. This is the experimental part, it, and this is actually a continuation of something I did several years ago. Um, it's a self-weeping garden. Uh, it was designed as a 4x4 four four area. It's uh, got water underneath it probably frozen to death right now. This is the the second step of my gardening exploits throughout the years. I uh, was able to resurrect it the, in 2013. It worked phenomenally well and so I'm going to be building more of those I hope. It's basically a uh, self-weeping uh, garden. Uh, at the lower level is a, a pond of water then you've got the soil and uh, right now there's an extra layer of uh, leaves and then a pallet on top of that to keep the snow off of it but uh, allow some water and air to get through. Uh, there's not much in there right now as far as plants. There should be some garlic growing. Uh, we'll see if it survived. Uh, never grown garlic before so uh, we'll see what happens. And then right here is actually several planting boxes, uh, raised beds that I had planned on using. The situation changed so I wasn't able to actually put it, implement them where I wanted to. I think what I'll, right now there's a bunch of leaves in there. Uh, I'm going to use that for compost uh, in the spring. I think what I'll end up doing with that is put them, or take them apart and then rebuild them into some planting boxes for this area here. Now this is a pre-existing uh, planting box both on the left and right side of the of the uh, basketball hoop. I've been fortunate enough to be allowed by my father-in-law to overtake his garden. And uh, th these two planting boxes uh, were established many years ago by uh, him and his sons. And it's done really well. It's, uh, but I want to see if I can advance it a little bit. Uh, turn them into self-watering, self-weeping, and uh, go from there. Also plans, now granted these are all plans, but we'll see what happens. Along here, you're probably losing it in the shadow. Um, we had one planter box down there uh, full of tomatoes. What I want to do is put some, extend out the deck a little bit. Uh, may not do it right here, but probably where I'm standing. Put some strawberries and maybe, maybe some tomatoes, I don't know. Uh, something that'll do well with a, not a whole lot of light uh, because it, this area is f uh, west facing. Um, but you know, let's see what happens. And then coming back here, he's got grapevines, Concord, and green grapes uh, all along here. And then we've got raspberries, which I really like to expand. And then the failure of a composter. I really want to rebuild that. I've got plans for it. I'm going to turn it into a barrel composter instead of a pallet composter. It's too heavy. Uh, and so it just kind of fell apart. And it was disappointing, but at least uh, at least I know now. So, uh, First you'll notice that the back area here has been completely trampled by dogs. And because of that, I'm thinking I'm going to need to put some barriers to the garden because they really tear it up. We'll go from there. You know, uh, that's as much as I'm going to do today. So have fun, and we'll see you next time.